We're inside the 2012 Nissan Rogue SL All-Wheel Drive Edition, and I'm going to point out some of the internal features here that you might not be able to pick up so well in the uh, written article. And we're going to start off here with the old speedo and tack cluster here. There is a menu system in between them as well, which is pretty common on a lot of the, today's vehicles that I've looked at so far. Very clean gauges, easy to read. Good nighttime illumination, and of course you got some adjustments here for the different menu system as well as your trip meters. So they're pretty easy to reach. Uh, the steering wheel's got the uh, cruise control as well as audio and Bluetooth functionality buttons built into it as well. You can do your track adjustment uh, or source adjustment between the XM satellite, the CD, the auxiliary input. There's also a USB input or AM FM radio. Pan over here and I'll give you a little brief overview of the stereo system. So, as you can see here, it's uh, pretty straightforward. It is kind of comical because it's, it's got to be the smallest screen I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> touch screen in, in a car so far. It's probably no better than four inches in diameter. So, pretty small, but it is somewhat effective. Uh, there, there's a couple nice safety features that are included uh, with this onboard nav uh, system, and that is the cameras that are located around the car. I'm going to go ahead and hit the camera button here. As you can see, it gives you a full panoramic view of the car on this side, and then here's the backup camera. You'll also get the same view uh, when you put the car into reverse. Um, so, kind of neat in that regard. Uh, don't know how much I would really use it personally, because I kind of like making sure I can look, but uh, there are times when you might have extra cargo that's kind of impeding your view, so it's nice to have that extra feature. The onboard navigation system does work pretty well. It is based off of an SD card for its data, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so as you can see when I pop that out, it says no map SD card inserted. Please use Nissan SD card only. Now, that's kind of cool, I guess, in terms of upgrading for map data. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about this particular touchscreen system is the delay that you get when you're punching in your address and that kind of stuff. Um, outside of that, it seems to work okay. The map isn't anything too fancy. It's um, not near as advanced as some of the other ones I've seen, but it does work and it is there. So there you have it. So currently I have uh, it on the auxiliary USB audio right now. And yeah, the USB device plug-in is right there in the old cubby. As you can see, i got a flash drive in there now. And uh, of course there's the auxiliary input if you want to plug in a phone. There's also an uh, uh, accessory power outlet in there as well. Nice deep storage by the way. Holds quite a bit. A couple cup holders. Uh, there is heated seats, dual heated seats. Uh, it does have automatic climate control. However, it's not dual climate control. Uh, so not too big of an issue I don't think for me personally the audio system does power some Bose speakers as you can see they got their nice little logo there on the center speaker in the dash uh, it's not a bad sound system it sounds pretty good for a Bose um, I do wish however that Nissan would partner with a different speaker company because I think there are far better products better sounding products mind you uh, out there so anyway um, go ahead and give you a pan around here see this one has the leather interior it's got really good leg room for the rear passengers kind of hard to gauge right there and uh, of course there is space back there in the cargo hold for quite a bit of uh, luggage and of course the seat is a 60 40 split and you can uh, fold that down for additional space as well so this one also features the built-in sunroof which we don't get a chance to use much around here in the Seattle area this time of the year but it is a nice feature for those of people that like to have it so anyway, overall I've been enjoying this vehicle. It's very sturdy feeling, has a good nice rigidity to it, if you will. Um, I didn't get a chance, however, to really test out the all-wheel drive system, but there is an all-wheel drive lock button down here you can hit, as well as um, take off the traction control if you want to ever disable that for any particular reason. But if you're in the market for a smaller SUV, kind of an entry level, I would definitely give this one a gander and uh, book a test drive at your local Nissan dealership. I think it's quite capable. It's very competitive for its price point, uh, low to mid 20s, and I think you'll be quite impressed with uh, the, the ride and everything else that the Rogue offers. So we'll uh, look forward to seeing you on the road and can't wait to see your guys' comments below the video. Thanks.